Got some updates regarding the RTX 50 series of graphics cards, and then NVIDIA is going to apparently be releasing some new variants of the RTX 4060 and 4070. But first, let's cover the NVIDIA RTX 5080 being a way better value than the RTX 4080 and it basically being on par if not better than an RTX 4090 which is pretty insane if you ask me so this portion right here is what we need to share it says the nvidia rtx 5080 gpu is most likely going to be based on the nvidia blackwell architecture offering superior ray tracing capabilities and general performance over the current generation rtx 4090 currently the best graphics card on the consumer market new rumors have emerged concerning the possible rtx 5080 graphics card with twitter x tech leaker agf stating that the gb203 is close to 8102 in raster and faster in rt or ray tracing gb203 is the gpu die that is most likely going to power the rtx 5080 which means that according to the report from pc games n the 5080 is going to be even faster at processing realistic ray traced lighting inside of video games than the rtx 4090 though it's going to be about the same speed in terms of standard rasterization the leaker revealed more information about whether the overall performance for the 5080 would be better than the 4090 and they stated that it's going to depend on amd's competitiveness and that it's too early to say so it also said that the top three blackwell gaming cards would end up featuring gddr7 ram including the rtx 5080 which means that you could expect some high speed memory from those cards currently the rtx 49 okay so that's just going over the price in the rtx 4090 so i want to say something right now because for those of you that may have not gone to the event gtc 2024 that was really heavily focused on ai and yes i'm fully aware that pretty much all they talked about was the um okay i'm getting the letters confused h100 or h200 and then the b200 i'm pretty sure the new one is the b200 but um i don't think p with the 50 series of graphics cards because of the 4080 and the 4090 basically being like what do you need a different graphics card for you know i don't see i think that nvidia is really going to sell their 50 series based off of ai and i need people to understand i'm not talking about ai like chat gpt or these photo generators man there is a lot of stuff shown at gtc involving video games like npc characters just having random conversations inside of a world in the game that you're actually playing but the cool thing about this and i'm pretty sure that you know just as well as i do that nvidia isn't just going to have these npc characters running random conversations like let's use skyrim grand theft auto no man no man's sky would be a really good example of this starfield the witcher and all these very 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 big open world games they are now going to have infinite replayability and the reason they're going to have infinite replayability is because these npcs that are roaming around the world man they're going to be able to offer you quests that fit you your play style what the game is what the game offers and like what you enjoy doing inside of the video game it's going to recognize this ai is basically going to be following you around and understanding what you do inside of the video game what you have fun doing inside of the video game and it's going to offer you quests that will fit this video game if ai can scrape billions and billions and billions of posts across the internet globally within a millisecond then it can read a puny tiny teeny weeny little video game and offer you a quest based off of that video game you know what i mean like people need to understand that this is not that this is not going to like just be offered from whatever they're not like activision or in as an example like activision isn't just gonna like go and grab 700 where what what how many can you link it was like 400 or something like that I'm pretty sure it's like 400 of the b200 gpus which you're a baller if you can afford like and billion dollars worth of graphics cards <laughs> but anyway 
<laughs> but anyways, like Mark Zuckerberg can't even invest in a full amount that he needs. He literally is buying half of them at first. Like go watch that video. I'll get off topic. But anyways, this is going to require GPU power in order to do this. And like Activision isn't just going to go and buy $10 billion worth of B200s so that people can have random quests and random generations inside of their video game. This is going to be based off of your computer and your GPU. I think that that is how Nvidia is going to sell the 5080 and the 5090 because we're at a point dude where if you get a 4090 you're playing games at 4k 144 fps plus so like what is the point unless you're playing a video game in 8k with like four 100 inch tvs you know what i mean like how dope would that be actually how sick would that be that would be sick um then you don't need it or like what linus did the other day making that biggest where he like turned his whole warehouse and like three monitors on that. That was a wiki cool. That was so cool. I want to do that. So uh, he, for those of you that are unaware, Linus made this video of like this huge, like on talking, like, I think it was like, what was like 2000 inch is what it was like a 2000 inch wall is they measured it. So they, they made a display with this super, like super high end projector project. And they were playing like games. Dude, it was super cool. I thought that was the coolest thing ever. But anyways, like if you're doing something like that you'll need a 5090 or something but anyways you might even not because projectors don't use pixels but i'm getting off topic um let's go over here because this is basically what i'm explaining it's it's basically all of the ai stuff that was shown at gtc 2024 and then the gpu inception with graphics cores processing ai workloads in order to generate graphics again and then all the ai okay so here we go the b200 that's the one that i was thinking of so the b200 this is the new one that's going to be like forty thousand dollars per gpu and you're going to be able to link like 500 of them for the large language models but when i say that i'm interested in ai dude i don't care about chat gpt i don't care about about gemini i don't care about all these like these like chat bots i really don't care dude i take that back i do use chat bots when i have like if i have a toe like it's a, a problem with my toe i will use it uh one of the chat bots i will not google it because if i google it it's gonna say i have an infection i have a disease i got cancer i have three days to live i need to go to the emergency room go get it checked out by a doctor this that you need this medication it's gonna tell you like 10 things you don't want to hear whereas if you go to one of these like chat bots it's going to scrape the entire internet that <laughs> so like it'll give you advice on like what to do it's not going to like tell you you have some sort of infectious disease that you need to take 500 medications for over the next 10 years or you're going to like be in a grave <laughs> you know and i know you guys use so for those of you that are googling your problems use a chat bot for that because that's what i do but anyways and i'm i'm not saying i don't find them interesting and i don't because i use the the image generators for for my for most of my thumbnails because it's kind of fun dude and it is a super time saver yeah and the description as well of my videos so i do like that but i'm more interested in what ai is going to do for like in general like inside of video games as an example we're going to have like these ai enhancing graphics and yes it's not real graphics okay whatever dude if it looks good who cares all right but eventually we're going to get to a point where you don't need a high-end graphics card in order to play games in a very aesthetic visually pleasing manner i guess um eventually we're going to get to a point dude where like all this stuff is like ai generated and then the quest inside of video games i really do think that that's how nvidia is going to end up selling their their next generation of gpus because like what is the point you know what i mean oh and then this too I, I did watch it so like stuff like this like this is what nvidia is going to be because this is going to take a lot of power this is all ai generated like this is ai this is not real this is actually ai and obviously like the hand still got problems and stuff but still dude like this is insane and this is going to take like i'm sure open ai is going to end up releasing some sort of subscription based model where you can like use their cloud gpu or whatever in order to generate one of these but it's not going to it's not going to be even remotely close to as fast as if you have a 5090 sitting inside of your computer and you use your own gpu in order to generate these videos you know what i mean it's going to be much quicker and then the NPC, the AI NPC characters inside of video games and all of that kind of stuff. Now, this is basically just going over all the AI stuff that was shown at GTC. 
I'm not going to share this entire article for obvious reasons. There's a lot of stuff going on here, but for the most part, it's just sharing the, the AI NPCs inside of video games, how their real NVIDIA is really focusing on AI, which I've said a lot over the past few months, like AI or NVIDIA is not really focusing their their products at gamers anymore that like that's kind of like what amd is for at this point and yes fully aware that amd is supposedly not going to be releasing their high-end graphics cards for their next gpu lineup because of what M nvidia is releasing it's like it's I, it's kind of understandable dude like a 70 percent increase from a 4090 dude like why ai that's why it's going to be ai and i'm concerned because of like how much is this going to be because if the 5090 is 70 percent faster than a 4090 and the 4090 is already hovering around two thousand dollars like how much is the 5090 going to be because nvidia is not just going to be like oh our two thousand dollar graphics card we're going to sell that for a thousand dollars now and then sell our new 5090 that's literally 70 percent better than a 4090 for two grand they're not going to do that okay I, I'm guessing $2,500 minimum for a 5090 because of what we know about this graphics card. So because of all of this, man, it's just, I, I really do. I think AI is, is what they're really focusing on and that's how they're going to end up selling the 50 series of graphics cards. But let's go back here because I, I kind of, I mean, this, I basically explained everything here anyways, um, in a shorter manner. And then this right here, NVIDIA is going to be preparing to launch new variants of the RTX 4070, 4060 Ti, and the 4060. I really don't understand why they're doing this, especially with the 50 series of graphics cards coming out so soon. Maybe it's just to get rid of old hardware that, or maybe they're not even going to release a 5070 and a 5060. You know, I guess that could be a way that they get, a, get around, um, uh whatever charging uh like a somewhat lower amount for the 5090 because they won't release a 5060 or a 5070 i doubt that that's going to happen but who knows man they got they didn't release a 4050 you know what i mean um so i don't know dude i just think that I don't know. I'm I'm very interested in AI, like the AI medicine as well. Like I think that like the medication, like AI generating new medication for people, specifically for people. Like, can you imagine that? Like, imagine like having an issue right now, and you going to an AI to explain your problem, and then it like generates some sort of like combobulation of this substance, that substance, this mixed with turmeric, and then this, and then raisins and milk and juice and then whatever dude <laughs> all these like whatever medicinal plants and stuff <laughs> and then it's gonna like poof out like this thing where you can go make a combobulation drink and like fix your whatever sickness uh but anyways come back here to the article so nvidia rtx 4088 gpus might see a decline in the uh whatever production so that they can make room for the rtx 50 series of graphics cards which is just common sense to me but i wanted to share that because it's, it's something that i'm confused about in comparison to this nvidia re preparing to release new 4060 4060 ti and 4070 it's just like why would they do that but then there's also a limited supply of the new rtx 40 series of graphics cards again it really could be dude that nvidia just does i don't again i don't know man and um the odds of this happening are pretty are like one percent okay but i'm just saying like let me know what you guys think about all of this stuff i've rambled on enough at this point very 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 interesting to see a 5080 being on par with a 4090 that's super super awesome especially considering the 15 i don't care what anybody says dude there's no way the 5090 is going to be under 2500 bucks zero percent chance of this <laughs> dude like that's so that's such a big performance bump and i wish that people i really wish that people like experience like for those of you that may have experienced this you may have done this like going from a 980 like a gtx 980 to a gtx 1080 that performance bump was massive dude 
so like for those maybe some of you went from a 2080 to a 3080 like that was a pretty good bump as well in performance but it was nothing like a 980 to a 1080 and the 1080 was actually a good value it wasn't stupidly overpriced like the 30 and 40 series so like it was a good performance bump with not that much of a price bump you know so like that's why i'm excited this is like double that if not three times that <laughs> you know so like we're gonna be like like i'm dude's like just because it's already insane so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys leave comments down in the comments and let me know what you guys think about all this stuff i'll catch you guys in the next one peace